Hey YouTube family, Mr. Black Mama 305. Welcome back to the channel. I know I said I was gonna put out more video and I haven't, you know, I've been just busy working on other things outside of YouTube. But uh, in keeping with that, I'm gonna try to crank out some more videos. Today's the first of many to come as usual. Um, before we go ahead and start the video, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. If you're watching, I would appreciate it if you subscribe, like, and share the video that would do me great justice. I'd really appreciate that. I'm a young channel trying to build again. So if you give me that uh, that like and that subscription, I'd greatly appreciate it. 98% of people watching these videos have not even subscribed. If you guys could just hit that subscription, you know, hit the notification bell that when I put out more content, you guys be one of the first ones to get it. That'd be great. You know, I'd really appreciate that. So as you guys can tell by, so without further ado, I want to get right into the topic. I just want to say, you know, my, my job here on my channel is to educate, inform, and entertain. Educate you with new information that you didn't know before, you know, inform you with information that you didn't have before, and entertain when I put out those videos, and like little things I say, is somewhat entertainment. All right, so as you guys can tell by, 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 the, uh, by the topic, you know, a lot of people that went out and purchased firearms don't have a clue what to do with that. So now you purchase a firearm, now what? You know, so we want to go ahead and talk about, you know, why people purchase firearm. You know, for the past two years, we've been going through a pandemic. So uh, a lot of reason why a lot of people uh, for the past year or two purchase firearms is because of uh, this said pandemic. I mean, a lot of us uh, gun owners who just go out and purchase firearm, we do that because we just love firearms. You know, but other people go out, they purchase it because they felt like, you know, the pandemic was a preform of the the zombie apocalypse. You know, they might not say it, but you know they think it. You know, they don't they don't know what this virus can the virus could do. So they say, you know what, before it mutates other people, let me go ahead. No matter how much people talk about, you know, zombie movies and how they're stupid, in the back of their mind, they'd be like, Yeah, listen, man, if that should happen, who do I run to? Do I come to your house or, you know, where do I get all the weapon? The baton with the nails, you know, the guns, the AK, who do I group up with? You know, but anyway, just, just joking. But um, yeah, so a lot of people purchase a lot of firearms and then, you know, they don't know what to do. And, you know, what I've known from ex past experience is that a lot of people will go out and purchase firearms, but they don't get the proper training. And that's what a lot of people who purchased firearms during the pandemic, who did the whole panic buying, they purchased a lot of firearms and then they didn't know how to use those firearms. And you find that after the pandemic, a year or so, a lot of these people are returning the guns because they say they don't like it or they can't shoot it. The simple, for the reason simple being is that you never got any training. You know, so now you've decided to purchase firearm for whatever reason you decide for home defense, for zombie apocalypse, for for the shooting sports, for uh, concealed carry, for your job, for whatever the reason might be, just for plain king as a gift, whatever it is. You know, once you do that, a lot of people will go ahead and get their um, their certificate so they can get their concealed carry. You know, a lot of I know for a fact there's a lot of people who actually purchase the certificate but never do any of the training. I remember when I first got my certificate, I went for like three days, four hours, and I've learned so much. I was, I came out as like, oh my God, that stuff can happen? I didn't know that. I didn't know that standing on my yard, I could have my AR-15 out, but going out on the sidewalk, it's illegal. You know, little stuff like that, I didn't know. You know, so, um, you know, it, it's good to get educated once you decide to purchase a firearm. And I know that a lot of people, before they got their firearm, they just did it. They just went ahead and bought it. They didn't get any training. A lot of them was a friend of a friend who, who recommended them. They go in for maybe 30 minutes. He talked to them about a firearm that they're getting, give them the certificate. They send in the certificate to whatever state they are, uh, you know, tobacco and alcohol, whatever, whatever. They send it in and they got it with no training. You know what I mean? So for me, the first thing I want to advise, if you're going to decide to purchase a firearm, go out and get the training necessary. Do the, four, the two, three, four hour courses that you need to do and get familiar with your firearm. Now, once you go and purchase your firearm, all right, you're going to go. And when you get that firearm, you need to purchase ammunition. I know we just came out of a pandemic. And because of the pandemic, we were caught up in, you know, ammo shortage. And it was, and it, it was wild for a while. And the fact that the prices were so high would deter a lot of people from trying, you know, to shoot more. But now that the panic buying is over, well, somewhat, and, you know, and, and, and it's kind of calmed down a little bit, I would suggest that if you did purchase a firearm, now's the time to get the training. Reason being, 
you don't want to purchase a firearm for self-defense or for whatever the hell reason is. And then you go ahead and then that thing happened. God forbid something like, you know, a robbery would take place in your home where you got held up and you don't know what to do. Then it's just as bad as not having that firearm and just buying a firearm and giving it to the bad guy because they're going to disarm you. You're going to end up shooting yourself, your loved one and other people behind and, and other people beyond your house. You know, so the, the proper training is necessary once before you purchase that firearm and after you purchase that firearm. You need to get familiar with each for your weapon. You can buy uh, 10 Glocks off the assembly line and each Glock performs different in each person's hand. So you personally have to get to know your weapon. So once you purchase a firearm, you need to go on YouTube to watch all the videos on that firearm. Take, learn, make sure the magazine is empty. Make sure you're pointing in a safe direction away from any living body or thing. You know, point, you know, you need to point that firearm down at something that you don't mind shooting, especially not your foot, but the floor, just in case that thing goes off because you cannot take that bullet back once it's left. And that bullet is now your responsibility. Now you went and purchased a firearm, you fired it, it goes outside your door, go into your neighbor's house, kill them, and now you're serving time for that, for manslaughter. So you want to make sure you get a proper training. Simple stuff like that that I just said should be basic training from before you purchase the firearm. But say you purchase the firearm without any training or without your concealed permit. Now you have it. What do you do? Make sure you get familiar with it. You know, know the parts, you know, know the jargon that goes with, with the firearm. Watch all the videos. Get training. You know, you can watch YouTube videos. You can, uh, you know, go on Groupon and find uh, firearms training and, you know, find somebody. Uh, to, to teach you this your friends and family that have firearms see if they can give you some pointers take it to the range if you go to a range and ask a race range officer for help they're more likely willing to help you you know um so that's this one of the thing and when once you have your firearm you need to put rounds through that firearm a lot of rounds. not necessarily a lot but six to a th 600 rounds to a thousand rounds is, is is a good amount of rounds to put through a firearm. I'd probably say any gun that I carry on my person for personal defense or home defense, uh, I, I'd probably say I have about at least five, 600 rounds to it. And the reason why you want to do it, again, number one, you want to get familiar with your firearm. And sometimes a lot of these firearms come and you need that break-in period. You know, break-in period meaning, say, for instance, you have two metal. They're brand new. They're rubbing against each other. They're stiff because they have that burr. And you know what I mean? And and they're rubbing hard and it's not smooth. But the more you fire, the smoother it becomes. Smoother it becomes. You see what I mean? So it gets smoother and smoother and smoother. So a lot of times, just that operation of the gun, just the way the gun operates, works out the kinks. You know, you want to learn how to clean your weapon, you know, you and then you want to know how to handle your weapon, where to point your weapon, what to do if there is a break break in. Do I need a, a, a light on my weapon? Just do I need a separate light? If somebody breaks into my house, you know, do I keep that line, sh that light shining on uh, the bad guy or where the bad guy is? No, because now the bad guy know where you're at and you don't know where necessarily where he, he's at. You might just be looking around for him and he's at a corner, but he sees your light. So he knows where you're at. You know, if you buy a shotgun, do you want to keep it, you know, um, you know, law enforcement ready? Do you want to keep, you know, six in the tube and in the breech open or one in the breech and it's ready to go take it off safety? There's so many things, a plethora of things that you need to know after you purchase a firearm and what you're going to do. All right. So get the proper training, you know, know your firearms, know the rules and the law that govern firearm safety and firearm handling in your state, your county, wherever. You know what I mean? And most of all, get the training, get the, get the, learn how to handle your firearm. You should be able when you're done with your firearm, you should be able to close your eyes and pull it apart and put it back together and put rack around in it and make it safe. Put it away. Put it in your safe. Once you get that firearm, it's still your responsibility. If it's in your house, somebody use that firearm, hurt somebody else on the streets or in your family, it's still pretty much on you. So don't forget, it's not just handing the firearm. It's putting the firearm away safely. If you don't, if you don't have a lot of people coming in your house, then it's kind of whatever. You know, you can place the gun if you have, if your house, if you know your house is secure, you can place your guns wherever necessary. 
So, you know what I mean? And you don't have to worry about little kids. But once you have kids in your house, kids are nosy. And kids can figure things out real quick. Especially kids nowadays who live with technology. When I was growing up, you know, I, I didn't even have a cell phone. You know, I remember when I was growing up in Jamaica, I used to walk miles just to make a call. And then it was like a couple of years before I left to come to college here in the United States that I had a phone in my house. And then, you know, slowly but surely, people stopped walking distance to make phone calls. And then they started having phones in their house. You know, everybody, I used to only be able to use, I'm sorry, a computer at school. And then now everybody, then everybody had a computer in their house. You know, so technology goes by so quickly. Kids get smarter and smarter. And a lot of times you can't put nothing past these kids because they're already hip to everything. So you want to make sure, you know, uh, the firearm that you bring in your house, it's safe, it's well handled, it's well put away, and it's well hidden. You know, you want to know how to handle your firearm once you do have it. You want to know how to shoot properly. Because just because you have the firearm don't mean you're going to hit the bad guy. Listen, it's already hard shooting at still targets. There's people with targets seven feet away from them, seven yards away from them, and they can't hit it for shit. So imagine the bad guys in your house, you have stress, you're going through all that stuff, and you think you can hit that guy? You'll be shooting a whole silhouette right around him without even hitting him. So taking it to the range and, 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 and really putting rounds to it is definitely going to help you. And listen, just taking it to the range and shooting that paper is one thing. You know, try to, and if you, if you want to do a little bit advanced training, you know, go to a range where you can, you know, you can do a clear house, kind of like a kill house or something like that. If for anybody who doesn't know, a kill house is, you know, a house that you can actually go through with targets that pop up, bomb, bomb, shoot, and you can see where you shoot. It's more, you don't know where the targets are coming from. You're just kind of like, just shoot what pops up. You know, sometimes it's it's innocent, sometimes it's bad guys. But, you know, after a while, it gets you, you, you get comfortable moving and shooting with the gun. So those are the kind of things that you might, this is kind of a little bit more advanced, you know. But for regular beginners, people, if it's your first time buying a firearm, number one, do your research on the firearm. Don't just go buy any firearm. Don't buy a Desert Eagle 50 AE, and then when you fire, it cracks you in the forehead. Make sure you get the gun that's good for you. If you're a female, you want to get a 380. I don't really suggest 380 and females. They kick so hard. And, you know, they're okay. I would get a subcompact for a female. You know, um, a Glock 34. You know, um, uh, Smith & Weston. Easy. Um, you know, uh, Sig, uh, uh, a Sig Sauer uh, P3, P365. You know, the XL. You know, um, you know, those are just guns I'm picking off the top of my head. Make sure you get the gun that works for you. You don't want to get the gun that you see a bunch of YouTubers have. You see some female on YouTube shooting guns. She's been shooting guns for 20 years and you just just started and you want to go get the same gun she she's comfortable shooting a 45 and you want to go shoot a 45 get the firearm that best fits your need if it's for home defense you know you want to get a shotgun get a shotgun do your training and make sure you're proficient with that shotgun if it's a rifle and that's your home defense weapon take it out to the range shoot it at distance but also take it and do some short range shooting too just in case you might have to shoot in your house so um i don't suggest getting a rifle for your first gun but if you go out there and you just bought a gun i would suggest um, I don't want to tell people what kind of guns to get because when I started, I didn't ever start with a Glock. Everybody was telling me to get a Glock. I ended up getting a 40 caliber and it was a Beretta PX4 Storm 40 cal. I shot that for years and I loved the recoil. It was amazing to me. And then after that, you know, 40 caliber came super expensive. It's kind of like 10 millimeter and 45. So I started going back to 9 millimeter, stopped buying 40 caliber guns because nobody else does. You know, they're all cheap now, but it's still a great caliber. 40 caliber is like a 10 millimeter. So if you're out there and you want to buy a 40 caliber because you want that extra stopping power, go ahead and get it. There's nothing wrong with a 40 cal. All right. So, you know, um, I just want to you know wrap up the video now. And I hope you guys learned something new from this. So, you know, in recap, uh, if you decide to buy a firearm for whatever reason, make sure you get the proper training. If you want to get your concealed carry, make sure you go out, take the class, learn everything that you need to know from that class. Leave that class with something. Don't just pay for the certificate. Let them give you two minutes of, you know, random bullshit information and send you home. Let them, if, it, if you have a firearm, ask them everything you need to ask them about that firearm and learn everything that, it, that, it, that they're supposed to teach you. 
Okay, when you get your concealed permit, don't just walk around with it all willy nilly. I if I see you and you are not proficient with your gun, I'm just gonna walk up to you and take it from you because you have no training with it. You don't know how to walk with it. You don't know how to behave with it. You're so nervous. You think everybody, you know, there's a way out of you know concealed carry without you know anybody seeing it and 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 feel comfortable. So you know, uh, go to YouTube, watch all the videos on the gun that you're gonna get. Um, you know, uh, for your state. Find out the laws that pertain to concealed carry and um, and brandishing, you know, because uh, you might be carrying that gun and, the, 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 you know, the, no, the, the muzzle of it is pointing out, you know, the the, 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 the guard is, is sticking out. Everybody can see that you have a firearm. There's rules against that, you know, so you want to learn all those rules. Again, you know, you want to, um, if it's a firearm that you have, but it's a, it's a first time firearm, you want to put rounds to it. You want to put a lot of rounds to it, get familiar with that gun, see if it shoots left, if it shoots right, what you can do to change up the sight picture to get it shooting straight for you, how the gun handles, the recoil, all of that stuff. If you're a first time shooter, you want to do all of that stuff. Watch all the videos for first time shooters on YouTube and you know, watch all the videos for your particular weapon, how it handles, how do you feel with it. If you don't feel comfortable with it, you might want to take it back and trade it in for something smaller, something bigger, depending on your size, you know, again, you want to go to the range and put range, put uh, rounds to the gun because, you know, you just want to get the gun slide smoothing out. Just like when you get a brand new toy, it's all sticky and it doesn't move. But the more you play with it, the more you play with it, the more it runs smooth. It's just like everything. You know what I mean? You want to break in the seat of your new car. It's nice and stiff when you get it. But once you start, you get that groove working in your seat. You know what I mean? So it's the same thing with, with firearms. You know, the more you handle it, the more proficient you get, the more, the easier it is to shoot and handle recoil. You want to learn how to hold your firearm. It's not just getting the firearm and, you know, this is the fire, this is the grip and you're holding the grip down here. You know, if this is where the gun like the, the grip starts, you don't want to hold the grip down here. It's going to keep coming back. You want to hold it up, get a high grip, you know, on the beaver tail and, you know, stabilize that gun, you know, push it out. Some people straighten out their arm. Some people lock it in like this, you know, uh, some people shoot like this. Some people shoot with both eyes open. Some shoot with one, you know, there's a lot of things that go into, you know, uh, uh, owning a firearm and how to handle it. You want to know, again, you want to know the laws, you know, that goes with, you know, that bullet leaves your gun. What are you going to do? Do I need to get, you know, um, you know, do I need to get a lawyer? Do I need to get some kind of insurance, you know? And if you have a gun, don't get rid of it. Just because the pandemic is out, you know what I mean? Again, you know, something might come up again in the future. And you never can tell you might need that firearm. So if you even don't find a need for it, just keep it there just in case you do need it. But every now and then take it out and get some rounds behind it and, you know, be more proficient with your firearm. Again, and that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Again, I'm going to try to crank out some more videos and try to inform you guys. If you found this video informative in any way, shape, or form, if you like the content, if you feel like you want to see me put more content out, feel free to put that in the comment, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. Let me build this channel up so I can crank out videos more often. I'm sorry it took so long to make the videos, but I've been working on some other things outside of, of the YouTube channel. I'm trying to start a new business, so um, I'm working on that right now. So that's why the videos aren't so fast forthcoming. You know, they're a little slow, but I'm going to try to keep consistently at least do one or two per week so I can give you a lot of information. There's so much information that I have that I can give you guys. And if you guys, again, want me to talk about a certain topic, just feel free to go ahead. I still have a lot of gun reviews coming in. Like I said, I just have a lot of things outside of YouTube. If you guys have any products out there that you guys want me to review, you want to give my opinion, feel free to contact me, send it in. You know, um, you know, I'm a poor channel. If you have cameras out there you want to donate, yes, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying. You know, so feel free um, to comment, like, subscribe the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. So as soon as I make a video like this, you can see and get these wonderful, wonderful information from me. And um, again, 98% um, of the people that watch the video, I have a video out there right now, my gun collection. It has about maybe 10,000 views and I don't have 10,000 subscribers. Can you imagine if everybody who actually watch a video subscribe? That would be amazing for me. You know what I mean? I'd really appreciate that. You know, but if you guys like the content and you guys want to see me put out more content and give you keep giving you these great content, feel free to like, subscribe, share. And again, I love you, my YouTube family. Uh, Mr. Black Mama 305, out.